evening. Jeff Bixby for This Week in Gay History. Born this date, in 1777, Tsar Alexander I, born in St. Petersburg, Russia. Alexander's Russia is the background for Tolstoy's War and Peace. Alexander was seen as the emperor of Russia who formed the coalition that defeated Napoleon and founded the Holy Alliance. The bells you hear at the end of Tchaikovsky's 1812 overture is actually those ringing out the news of Alexander's defeat of France, which made him one of the po most powerful leaders of Europe. Is it any wonder why Napoleon called Alexander the handsomest and slyest of all the Greeks? Uh, a begrudgingly admiring assessment of the Tsar's homosexuality, which was based on fact. When he died, the rumors persisted that he actually fled Russia to Siberia, where he became a hermit. And in 1926, the Soviet government opened his tomb. It was empty, and the mystery remains unsolved. Born on December 24th, Howard Hughes. Producer, aviator, industrious, industrialist, and millionaire, he parted with just a little bit of his cash to enjoy the company of Errol Flynn. On December 26th, we celebrate the birthday of Thomas Gray, born in 1716. December 27th, Marlena Dietrich. December 30th, Tiny Tim. I'm going through all these because uh, of next week's anniversary show, so I wanted to get you all the way to the end of the year. January 1st, I wanted to mention the birthday of E.M. Forrester, author of the novel A Passage to India and the most re his most recent novel, which was made, well, it's the novel most recently made into a movie, Maurice. Make sure you check it out at your neighborhood theater. Until next week, I'm Jeff Bixby, and that's This Week in Gay History.